Hello guys, welcome to Daddy's Teachings. I am Keto Chiko Azike. Yes, I love you. Thank you guys for coming, you know, coming on to the show. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now today's topic is your reality does not define mine. So many people have told me, no, actually, let me be very specific. When I was in um, CIC, my principal then told me life is hard. Well, obviously she's a liar because my life isn't hard. Um, university is hard. Obviously, she's a liar because university isn't hard. And growing up, I, you know, I was told work hard, work hard. Uh, no, honey, it's work smart, seriously. And um, oh yeah, Bill, go to school, go to school, get the grades, get the grades, so you can be in a company and then build up from there, walk your ladder, walk your way up to the highest ladder and yeah <laughs> no honey you can't actually own the company people i look around and i've heard a lot of people tell so many others you know um the world is wicked the world is this mm, the world isn't wicked to me man i haven't seen any wickedness in any way lol let me just go down to details 300 or 400 years ago too many blacks or black people in America or in many parts of the world believe that they could never be masters. Their reality was or where they were bound to be slaves and the next generation it goes down like that. But guess what? It got to a point where somebody, people like Frederick Douglass, Sergeant of Truth, realized that, you know what? This is not my reality. This is not the life I've chosen. This is not the life I choose to live. No! This is not my reality and my kids are not going to go through this. Let us end this. And people like them are the reasons that many blacks can stand today and say, yes, shut up, you, you stupid white man or you stupid white, la white lady. Or, you know, they can own companies. They can actually serve themselves. They can actually own servants to who can be white or black, whatever race. Because they've chosen their life. What is your own reality? My father said to me, because we know, I was talking, my father and I were talking about poverty, eh? And to me, the best solution to end poverty in Nigeria is education. Is education not about knowing algebra, blah, 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 shit, but just people being knowledgeable about the state of affairs in Nigeria? That is it. So no politician or no government can just come in and deal with the people any how they like because many of them are illiterate and do not even understand the system. All they know is they are poor. That is, that is the best solution for me. So poverty in Nigeria. And so my dad and I were talking about it and, um, and of course it shot me up because... I wasn't sounding intelligent, but it's five o'clock. I don't know, even though I wasn't even sounding that intelligent, I don't know that many of these people, many of these poor Nigerians, and may maybe so many other poor people in the rest of the world, they are poor because of they they grew up believing that's all they know. That is their reality. That is life to them. And growing up, I used to hear that's the real world. That things are not easy. You can never go above this. And then you're bound to poverty. Because they're never taught how they can ever move out of that state. Only very few get out of it. Because obviously that is their reality. Now, if you can sit down and tell me that this is life then you are a liar. I had it made over him. I had it made, I was teaching, yeah, and she was very young, 14 or something, right? I was teaching her how to write and this lady just couldn't write. <laughs> and she, I was crying. I, I dotted out the words. I just had to trace it. And she struggled just to trace a letter because her mind has been built to believe that she can't be above this. And this is what her life is about. To be my mate.
Knowledge is power, people. Seek knowledge. Many people are taught um, save up, save. Your biggest assets will be something you like your house or or your car or something. No. If your biggest assets, and if you're taught that your biggest assets is when you spend your entire life savings or your entire life, you know, or your money, whatever, building the biggest, fanciest house, and that is your biggest asset, then that is a lie. That is not my reality. My reality is, if I choose to build a house, it will never be a liability to me. So now we're going into finances or finances. What is your reality about money? I've sang this several times. If you make something bigger than you, you will never be above it. I have said this to several times. Character makes a man. If you build a strong character, everything falls according to your needs. And you plan, you set your mind to the things you need and you work towards it and you plan. Planning is very serious. Then you see everything fall accordingly. And you do not have to believe in somebody else's life stories or reality. What is your own reality? You're, you can build a house, but let it never be your biggest asset. Your biggest asset. It can, it's, instead, it can just be something you can easily pay off and work towards the next big thing you need in your life. If something is bigger than you, it will be a liability. I've also sang this several times. Do not go beyond your means. If others are doing it, that is them. Not you. Plan. Plan. Don't live because of another person's story or what you've been taught. But do your research and what works best for you. Going on and back again to Nigeria because this is where I was going at. I couldn't remember what I was about to say but now I remember it. So many and I were talking about poverty in Nigeria. He said, if he didn't have a job, if he wasn't a lawyer or a politician, or no, he would have been a, a welder, a farmer, a fisherman. And he'll be able to fend for himself and his family. Living that type of life is peaceful and happy and it's just wonderful. Because you're not looking at the lives of others. You're not looking at the lives of Dangote. You're not looking at striving to be like them. You're striving to be you at your best and do what works best for you if you can. What is your reality? Plan. If you're going to school, not learning about math or whatever, study what works best for you and how exactly will it affect your life in any way. You can gain all the whole diplomas or whatever, but at the, at the end of the day, how useful is it in your own life? People, knowledge is power. Seek knowledge. Or else, if you don't, you will forever remain a slave to others. Don't build your life based on what other people say or define life to be. Choose your life and your own reality. People have said to me, yes, people have said, friends are phonies, friends are this, this, this. No, 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 no. That isn't my life. My friends are the best values in my life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, my reality, I don't waste my time with people. My mommy said, talked about, um, talked about control. She said there are some things you can't control, but there are many things you can control. You can control your crowd. You can control your grades. You can control what you wear. You can control how you think. You can control where you live. If you want something, work hard, uh -uh, work smart for it, if you can. And my mom is telling me these things. Of course, I'm taking so many things into, you know, I've been able to control so many things in my life. And see, I'm still celebrating a year of peace and sound mind. <laughs> what is your reality? What is life to you? 
define what life is to you plan work towards it if you need something don't just push it aside work to get it that boy that girl oh she has a big bomb oh her face is ah oh, that guy oh he looks so hot oh. uh -uh. that girl taking your money taking your time what value does she add to your life mm -mm. bend down and face what you need to face because at the end of the day if you have nothing she will leave. So concentrate on you. The same thing with the girls. At the end of the day, a guy will see somebody who has bigger breasts, bigger this, larger, or she's la larger than life or whatever. He will end up leaving. So concentrate on you. Work on you. Build character, self-esteem, confidence, everything. And define what life is to you. And take control, of course, take control. I love you.